Here are the 15 chilling historical photos that you must see. Number 1. Police stopped the NYC traffic for a cat and her kitten, 1925. No matter who, who you are or what fancy car you are driving in the 1920s, if a cat wants to cross the New York streets, you have no choice but to comply. The traffic enforcer was there to make sure of it. The job entails managing the traffic and assisting pedestrians. This policeman went overboard just to help the mama cat and her kitten cross the street. What spectators also have to know is the fact that photographer Harry Warnock was actually late to the scene so he missed the initial crossing. The cop and cat happily obliged to recreate the scene to have this wonderful photo. Number 2. A young and cool Walt Disney strikes a pose 1920s. Just when you thought the guy in the photo was a regular dapper man in the 20s, you realize he is actually the Walt Disney himself. This legend began as a starving artist and a struggling businessman. One of his first projects was Laughograms, a modern version of fairy tales that were played in Newman Theater in Kansas City. In 1923, Disney moved to Hollywood to be with his brother Roy and to try and sell his real film based on Alice in Wonderland. Five years later, he created his most iconic character, Mickey Mouse. The rest as they say, is history. Number 3. 19-year-old Jimi Hendrix trains in the U.S. Army, 1961. Sometimes famous artists surprise you with their past lives. Before Jimi Hendrix was playing as a guitar god, he was training as a paratrooper in the U.S. Army. It's not that he wanted to patriotically serve the country. It's that joining the military was a better choice than serving time in prison for car theft. Hendrix opened up about his army experience through a letter to his father saying, There's nothing but physical training and harassment here for two weeks then when you go to jump school, that's when you get hell. They work you to death, fussing, and fighting. Number 4. A female Lockheed employee works on a P-38 Lightning, 1944. This striking image goes out to the women who empower and need to be empowered. If there is in any little way a positive thing that the Second World War has brought, it was an opportunity for women at the time to be hired in industries that initially discriminated against them. There was an enormous demand for the Allied cause in Europe so companies like Lockheed gave space for women into their factories. When World War II began, the aeronautics industry needed work. This circumstance also jump-started concepts like daycare centers adjacent to factories. Number 5. A woman uses the first Siemens vacuum cleaner, 1906. If there's one thing that adults are thankful for today, it's the development in technology, especially in home appliances. Can you imagine hauling this enormous machine around the house just to suck up some crumbs? since you don't deem this mechanized monster to be called a vacuum cleaner. Siemens actually referred to it as de-dusting pumps. Cool. Given the de-dusting pumps' hefty weight and limited horsepower, it is more likely that people today would choose to clean without using it. As mentioned, we really have to be grateful that the current version doesn't weigh as much as a car. Number 6. A man explains the sizes of the donut hole. Without looking at the presentation the guy was discussing, one would think it was a serious business. Perhaps it really was a life-and-death situation for them. Apparently, some people were concerned with the size of the donut hole that they documented the changes made to it. The culprit behind this major hole issue was donut machines. They started punching smaller because unlike earlier donuts, they don't need as much space to dry. It's also possible that donut chains have instituted a standard size. Regardless, we will now be vigilant with our donut holes. Number 7. Jean Bugatti poses with a Bugatti Type 41, 1932. This colorized photograph should put a smile on the face of anyone who loves anything about automobiles. It shows Jean Bugatti posing beside one of his father's coolest works. Edder Ray Bugatti's plan was to earn loads of dollars by selling the Bugatti Type 41 Royale Esther's Roadster to the members of the royalty. 
However, that plan wouldn't pan out in the middle of the Great Depression. Apparently, the European monarchs were not inclined on the idea to burn some money on luxury cars during the economic depression. He initially wanted to build 25 models of the Bugatti Royale, but only seven of these cars were ever produced. Before we move on to the remaining photos, please like and subscribe to my channel below. Number 8. Barbara Walters Leafs Through Some Papers, 1949 Barbara Walters was a legendary journalist in the 20th century. Before taking the spotlight though, she was just a college student studying English at Sarah Lawrence College in Yonkers, New York. After earning a BA degree in 1951, the fresh graduate moved to New York City and started working for an advertising agency. Walters then snagged a position at a local NBC affiliate for years. The budding broadcaster produced programs at NBC then moved to CBS in 1955. It did not take long before she took a job at the Today Show. Number 9. A Beggar Runs Alongside a Carriage Carrying King George V. From 1910 until his demise in 1936 Queen Elizabeth's grandfather King George V took the reins over England. During his sovereignty, the king had to deal with the First World War and manage the local problems in the country at the same time. This never-before-seen image shows how His Majesty sported the late Victorian style despite developments in fashion and technology. He rode in a carriage. A poor chap ran along and begged for some change. Unfortunately, neither the king nor his friends were reaching for their pockets. Number 10 a 14-year-old Princess Elizabeth stares at the camera, 1940. Does this 14-year-old girl look familiar to you? That's because she is currently the most prominent figure in the United Kingdom. Queen Elizabeth may be a full-time monarch right now, but decades ago, she was just a normal teenage girl. Who are we kidding? She was always destined to be a queen. In 2020, her Majesty addressed the people for the 75th anniversary of Bay Day. Back in 1940, she did her first radio broadcast to address the children affected by the Blitzkrieg. We are trying to do all we can to help our gallant sailors, soldiers, and airmen, and we are trying to, to bear our share of the danger and sadness of war. We know, every one of us, that in the end, all will be well. Troops gather at Normandy Beach, 1944. This black and white photo calls for us to brush up on our history. On June 6, 1944, there were more than 150,000 American, British and Canadian troops that marched through the beaches of Normandy for the anticipated D-Day. Can you imagine getting three military forces together on board? It took months of planning to enact one of the most intense amphibious military assaults ever. As the mind would recall, northern France has freed from the Nazis thanks to this military action that took place from June to August of that year. It marked the beginning of the end of World War II. The war would be over by the same time next year. 17-year-old girl survives a plane crash, 1971. It's totally understandable if you do not get what was happening here. It doesn't capture everything, but this was an actually a young woman who just survived a plane crash. In 1971, Julianne Kopka was only 17 years old when she was sucked out of an airplane after it was struck by a lightning bolt. The only silver lining on this incident was that Kopka made it in the Amazon jungle as she was still strapped to her seat. A man advertises himself during the Depression, 1930s. The Great Depression is a significant topic that we discussed in school. However, we would always focus on the bigger picture and forget to zoom in the lens on those actually affected. We know for a fact that the stock market crashed in 1929, and that it struck the workforce. Still, it hits different when you see photos like this. Being able to earn during the Great Depression was like winning the lottery. Unfortunately for this man, he was still searching for one so he had to be creative in getting the attention of possible employers.
This fellow was not alone and was just a representation of many skilled Americans at the time. Workers cut a tree, the 1800s. Believe it or not, this vintage photo of working on the upper branches of trees is real. They were pruning it to bear more fruits and continue growing. For children reading this please don't try it at home. Those men may look cool trimming trees up there, but they were putting their lives on the line. Besides, they were professionals so they knew what they were doing. Obviously, if you wanted this gig, you had to make sure you were not afraid of heights and were very much aware of the risks. Given the size of the tree, this was a big-time operation. It practically needed an entire team to do the pollering. Young Shoe Shiners Hear the Civil War Veterans Tales Shoe shining was a frequent job in the early 20th century. Shoe shiners were referred to as boot blacks. Walking down the streets, you would run into several young men with a box and rag. They would offer to make your shoes look as good as new for a fair price. It was their way to earn a wage as a youth. Every corner of the street was occupied by boot blacks who wanted to score some dollars or some gossip. In this photo, they gathered to listen to the stories about the last half of the 1800s. The world was already changing at the time, so hearing those tales felt enthralling.